Okay, so what's up, babes? It's Carlisa Victoria back with yet another video. So look, y'all, I just ran up to go get me um, a veggie bowl and just wanted to make this video real quick as I got back, uh, before I go back in the house. It is a little gloomy because it was raining. We just had like a thunderstorm and uh, my camera's in the house and my battery is charging to my camera. So I decided to let me just film off here. So I wanted to just make a lock video that talked about the things that people don't tell you when starting locks. So if you haven't subscribed, whether you're returning or you just are new make sure you smash the subscribe button because your girly talks about it all on the channel so i just basically wanted to say one of the things they don't tell you about locks is and some things i'm not going to consider as oh i you should have assumed that blah, blah 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 because an assumption when you break that down is making a out of you and me if you write down the word assumption but anyway so I'm not gonna make this video with the fact that, oh, duh, that was that was a given. I'm making this video as a, it could be as much of a given or it could be as much as I didn't know that. So first things first is when you're starting your locks, your hair density, your hair, um, all of the strand density referring to the number of strands that you have on your head is different from another individual. You could see my locks and ask your loctician to make my size locks. But if your hair is way thinner than my hair, it's not going to look the same no matter if you count the same number of locks I have and then you go duplicate that number if you have thinner hair than me it's not going to look the same if you have thicker hair it could make your locks look thicker so one thing to know is it's nice to kind of know the sizing that you want but don't try to count the number of locks on somebody else's head and be like oh I want a hundred or oh I want 200 like hers because that 200 may look full for her and it may make your hair look very thin so that's one thing that i would say when you're choosing your size for your locks choose let them know what look you like but don't try to imitate it so much to where you're counting the number of locks um because that could work out in your favor there is a probability that it could work but there's also a probability that it won't work so i wouldn't even gauge it like that i would just like if you know you want goddess like size like big locks or you know you want sister locks or you want wicks or something like that then be specific as far as that but as far as the number i wouldn't really try to stick to a number off of somebody else's locks if you want to come up with your own little number you can maybe you say hey i want 150 locks no matter what it looks like do your thing but definitely understand that density is a thing it is referring to the number of strands you have on your hair and you don't want to um basically be trying to kind of do something that does not work out for you because you have your measurements wrong another thing that i would say when getting locks that they're not going to tell you is your journey is your journey so don't try to compare yourself to um another person like be yourself don't try to be anything other than yourself because that's when you're going to get upset when you don't get the results that you want because you're trying to basically look like somebody else create your wave create your size and create what looks good on you but do not pinpoint your starter journey so focused on somebody else's because you're going to be disappointed when it doesn't turn out exactly like that which is not going to likely because you guys may have different um density like i said even texture can sometimes play into it um because i feel like if you have thicker hair it's not to say that your hair won't lock but you have to ask yourself if i have this many locks or if i do this how will my roots lay when i don't want to retwist it will my hair look super big to the point where i don't like the look do i need to go smaller locks so it's not in between the non retwist days is not too much hair that makes my hair just stand up on top of my head you have to ask yourself so many different questions so that's why i say go based off of your hair also parting know if you want to go triangle parts or square parts what do you want do you want an even look do you want a like a an, like an organized cast or just like chaos um organized or or un organized or organized chaos figure out what you want another thing that i would say as far um as your locks that they're not going to tell you is like i said your journey is your journey but also how long your lock, hair is going to take to lock you may take three months to lock she may take six months to lock he may take a year to lock all the way through for mature locks it's going to be based on your routine it's going to be based on your hair type it's going to be based on a whole bunch of things that could literally contribute to how your locks turn out so just do the research for yourself um and that's on anything you do whether it's locks or it's something that you're interested in always do the research yourself because by you going to someone and asking them for the the key to your success 
makes me feel like you don't you're not even that interested in what it is that you want if you're going to somebody and say hey what did you do for this or how did you do this it's one thing to help somebody it's another thing when you haven't even done the basic bare um um research for yourself it just shows me that you're not as interested as you are stating you are in something um because if you were you would be doing the research yourself another thing that they don't tell you um when getting locks is it's a process like I say it all the time in my videos but it's truly a process it's easy to look at my results and it's easy to look at mature locks and to see people's locks all the way to their butt and just be like oh that's how my hair is about to turn out no there's bumps in the road there's growing processes there's different um, stages of your locks that you're gonna have to go through so even though that's not being talked about on a regular like when you start your locks typically like with your loctician a lot of times or even if you start them yourself, it is going to be a process. Um, and another thing they don't tell you about locks is like, literally, locks are a commitment. So if you're not ready to commit, don't think about locks because they are a commitment. You can't get locks today and just expect them to be to your butt tomorrow. It's going to take you to do what you're supposed to do, whether you're doing your own hair or you're going to a loctician, but making sure that you're maintaining your hair and you're doing the things that you need to do to have a successful um, lock journey. So a lot of times these things are not gonna be told to you, but I just wanted to chime in real quick, give you a little quick video on some things that they don't tell you about locks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's super short. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get it uploaded. I have the vlog that should be uploading soon too. And I'm gonna get in the house eat a little bit and get some work done and I'll see you on the next video. Later.